It's been a breaking news day here for CBS News Texas. We've been following this story for you all day long since the moment it happened. Texas law enforcement, as you see, moving on to University of Texas at Dallas's campus today. We were there at four o'clock when officers showed up. It was a show of force. They cleared the encampments there, arresting 17 people. The university did ask officers to break up the encampments because they say they were blocking sidewalks. Tonight, our Marvin Hurst is in McKinney. Yeah, and uh, he's with a large group of people who have now showed up over at the Collin County Jail. Marvin, uh, and that's where police took those protesters that were arrested. So it's kind of difficult to hear you guys, but I did hear my name. I can tell you that I do have an update on uh, some information that was just brought out to the group before they started chanting. First of all, that's the detention center over there. I just want to show you that. And uh, right there are the people who are cheering, and they are out here strategically to make noise to hopefully get their colleagues, their comrades, transferred from Collin County back over to Dallas County where this whole thing took place. Now, the attorneys came out and gave us an update. First of all, they said there are 21 people, 21 people. They have been able to talk to at least 15 of them. Now, that 15, that 21 is a mixture of students and staff members. Uh, I was talking to an insider in this group, and they were telling me they had a certain number of people who were willing to kind of give themselves up to go to jail. They kind of expected this to happen, but they did not expect that number to grow to 21 so they are they are here uh, trying to uh, get uh, their people out of jail it's a criminal trespass charge a $350 bond the attorney was saying but they won't they can't get the magistrate to see them uh, tonight so they will get a chance to see the magistrate at nine o'clock tomorrow morning uh, they've been doing all kinds of things here you can see family kids people wrapped in flags. I wanted to show you something out here as they were buying their time here. Uh, they were not allowed to sit on the walls. They were asked to sit on the grounds. They've been carving out messages here and chalk about Palestine and this whole movement here. Uh, some of them, they are written on the ground as they wait to get their colleagues out of jail. How many more children must die? Free Palestine, all things that you hear them chanting in the background. So at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, they will have more answers. For now, that is the very latest here in Collin County. Marvin Hurst, CBS News, Texas. And we thank you so much. Great work today. Uh, we did just get a statement from the president of UT Dallas acknowledging it's been a difficult day. Dr. Richard Benson says UTD has been and will continue to be a strong advocate for the right to free speech, but he says the event today violated institutional rules governing speech, expression, and assembly, which prohibit tents, barricades, and other structures. He says UT Dallas will continue to take the necessary steps to ensure that our campus remains safe and can function without interruption.